Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be sharing some more diamond paintings with you. Um, these have very kindly been sent to me by One Day Saving. They contacted me and asked me if I'd like to share some of their products on my channel with you all. And then, um, so of course I said yes please because I am obsessed with diamond painting. So I've chosen um, two different canvases today to share with you. Now they have really, really kindly given me a discount code to share Share with you all it will give you five percent discount off at checkout and the code is marcia05 off i'll pop it on the screen here for you and also i'll um bob it in the description box down below so you've got that i'll also link to their website and i'll link to each of these products as well so that if you like these you can go straight to the page to purchase them or you can just go out and have a browse through their site and see what you want um, I have to say it looks incredibly affordable um, their products which is really really good and they've got a really lovely selection of things to choose from so yeah these were sent through to me they posted them last week and it's taken about a week to arrive I'm in the UK and they've come via Hermes in this like sort of grey outer bag and then the canvases are inside so i haven't opened the canvases yet so what i thought we'd do is we'll just open them up have a look and um, i will check on the website the dimensions and everything else that it says about it i can give you the prices as well and then um, yeah we'll see what the canvas quality is like what the drills are like and um, if the drill um, field is true to size to what they say it is etc etc so yeah i'm very very grateful obviously they have been gifted to me but um all thoughts are my own and i'll be giving you an honest opinion on what i think to these products so let's get them out we've got two here um i've got a smaller one and this one looks huge um really really oh my gosh it's massive <laughs> let's do this one first i'll pop this one out of the way um so let's see what we have here i'm at the caravan again so i'm perched on the kitchen unit hello <laughs> okay so that's it out the bag um we have got it's a poured glue canvas Oh, I remember now. Here we go. So it is the lion. It's Leo. Um, it's actually my dad's birthday on Tuesday. And I'd got this because I thought I might do this for my dad because it's obviously Leo the lion. Um, let me just unroll it a bit again. Because it's poor glue, I can roll it back on itself. There we go. That's laying flat pretty, pretty quickly. So we have got the legend on the side here. 25 colours and they have the symbols and they've also got the DMC numbers here. So we have got a lot of black. Oh my gosh. Um, so let's have a look at the print quality. Um, these are quite dark, aren't they? The browns, we've got those are sixes and H's. To be fair, it looks pretty well printed. It looks very clear, to be honest. I'm sure that'll be all right. There's a lot of colours similar here. I'm looking to see if the printing has been... Um, they've got some smoother, like some rounder edges on the printing as well. It's not all pixelated, which is... That might give it a nicer finish. Um, and here's the... Well, I think we've got some symbols, letters number so a little bit of a mix um but i'm sure well we'll see how we go i might need the light box on these darker ones is there anything that's similar i've got t and six they're very similar colors on there but we'll see how it goes once we start it but i'm really looking forward to trying this it's something different i've not done anything like this yet mind you i'm only on my second um, diamond painting so far so i'm far from experienced but it looks really really nice so let me just pull this up here so it says it's a 40 by 50 i'm just going to open up the website and have a little look here and see if i can give you some details about pricings etc right then so this is it's a full round and it just says lion ten dollars 43 um and 
yeah it says that the canvas is 50 by 40 so let's have a little look and see if it is i've got my tape measure here um oh gosh the weather's been so nice in the uk it's been fab um i've got three days off now so i'm looking forward to that so it is actually just over 45 it's not quite 45 so it's nearly 45 by 35 so you're kind of losing um five centimeters on each direction but that's okay we've got the um things here we've got a basic um kit there with the tray a bit of wax and the stylus and then here are the drills they are round they are and um, we've got the numbers and let's have a look here well that's interesting because this must be the oh hang on here we go l2432 l2432 so you can match that up to the canvas okay so that's fine so um all of these drills are um, matched to the canvas so if you want to store them separately you'll be able to match them together at a later date so that's really really good i like that so let's have a look at the drills quite a dark um sort of um picture it's not very bright you've obviously got the sort of the fiery side on this side but it, it's a very very dark canvas overall oh my goodness look at all these three tens got three packs of three tens <laughs> I think that's the most I've had so far in a kit. Um, so each of these, we've got number one, which obviously corresponds to number one here. Then you've got your symbol and then your DMC code. But the bags themselves do not have the DMC codes on. So let's run through. So we've got a load of blacks, and browns. It's like a nice sagey colour. There are some lovely colours. So that's two packs of those. Number four, two of them. Oh, and here's your nice hotter colours here. Wow, look at that red. Oh, that's nice. It's kind of like an indigo. Another brown, like a bricky brown, deep olive green. More browns, more browns, and a kind of like creamy, ivory, beigey shade. Um, the actual drills themselves, they look pretty uniform sorry i'm not in shot i'm looking at them <laughs> myself they don't look bad they're not really dimpled back so a couple of small little dimples but they look pretty good nice and faceted so yeah they look quite nice so that is the first kit oh we've got some more here this these so oh, that's colors beautiful isn't it these are really really nice there's actually more colours in here than what you'd actually first imagine. So I'm looking forward to doing this purely because it's the first one that I've wanted to do for somebody else. So, um, yeah, I hope my dad likes it. I'm sure he will. But I don't think it's going to be finished in time for his birthday, but I don't think he'll mind. <laughs> so I get this packed away. I am getting better at packing my jewels away. <laughs> well, I think I am. So I'll pop these back in the bag. No baggies in this kit. Okay, get these in here. Look at that. I am becoming a pro, I tell you. <laughs> Lovely. So yeah, that is my first choice. So I actually think that's really nice. Um, nice size. Um, I am looking forward to making this so much. Really looking forward to it. Cool. Right then, let me just pop that down here. So let me just get the details of the next one. You can see it's absolutely massive. Um, okay, this one is actually, because I've now just pinged it up on my screen, um, I'm really looking forward to this. It's, it's going to be a lot of work, I think. Ah, there we go. So it's honestly so chunky. It's massive. Right then. Okay, so this one's rolled out the way with the picture outside. I don't think that makes any difference. It still is a pod 
um, glue canvas. And look at this. This is a triple picture. I'm so excited. I think I'm probably going to cut them whilst I work on them. So I'll trim them down. So to begin with, we've got this gorgeous peacock. Um, the whole thing, actually, it says 95 by 45. Um, so it doesn't tell you the individual sizes. So I suppose we'll just measure across, but it doesn't matter. I'll tell you what each size is. So this is a lovely peacock. I think you can make out pretty well with the rendering what it is. Um, and then in the middle, there is this vase of flowers, which looks pretty. Um, Hopefully that will turn out okay. We'll see what that turns out like once it's been done. Bit of a crease in this one. I'm going to release that. You can see there's a big crease in the canvas. And then the final picture, oh gosh, there's loads here, is another peacock facing the opposite way. I kind of feel like I want the, I don't know about, I think I want the peacocks facing in rather than out. Um, I don't know. So they are different colours. This one's more green. The other, this one is more blue. But they are kind of like almost like mirror images. In fact, they are pretty much. If you look, they are mirror images of each other, which is nice. But yeah, I think I'm gonna have them facing in the way rather than out. Not sure how clear everything's going to be. So we've got um, a legend on the right hand side. This is very close to the edge of the canvas can you see so the legends are super close when you're cutting yeah um there's 33 shades all together um the symbols what have we got the so we've got a mixture of letters oh this is interesting we've got letters and some symbols but look at this what i've noticed there is a capital m on a turquoisey shade but then there's a small M on a greeny shade. Are these going to be confusing? Let's see if I can find them. So you've got your capital M there. Have you got any small M's with them? I don't know. Um, maybe not. I'm just trying to see when they're on the canvas if the small M's, if the lowercase M's, I should say, it's not small. I'm not five years old, am I? <laughs> Where are? It might even be on a different picture. Oh, so here we go. We've got the um, lowercase m's there. I mean, it is clear that they are a lowercase m, to be honest. I'm just wondering if you had them side by side on the same canvas. But I don't think... Well, I won't know until I start working on it. The actual print quality is super clear. It looks good, you know. Um, no problems from that. But there's how much colour blocking. <gasps> Look at that. That is massive. <laughs> it might come on quite quickly, this. I'm, is it square or round drills? The round, okay, that's a bit better. I'm, I've just started a square drill, one at home, um, and I'm not sure, oh, yeah, it, it, when I was starting off, I thought this is really, really difficult, but now I'm getting into it, it seems a bit better. Um, I don't know if I feel a bit anxious about doing the square one with so much colour blocking, and I'm a little bit, um, I've noticed as well that the finish is so much nicer when you single place rather than multi-place. But if I was to single place these, you know, it would be speeded up so much by multi-placing. I'll wait and see how I feel. But with it being so pale, I think if they're slightly out, they'll look terrible. Um, I'm going to try and measure. <laughs> Let's do the heights. It's meant to be 45 um, height. Let's do that. Um, no, it's not. Um, it's just under 40, it's 39.5, um, I don't know how I'm going to measure this, I might just measure each individual one, so this one here is 27.5, this one is 27, maybe 0.5, it's a bit crinkled. And then this one, I think they'll all be the same, won't they? Yeah. 27 point... Ooh, 27. <laughs> That's interesting. We shall see. Um, I want to just try and release this massive crease. Um, I'm going to just stand up and I'm going to turn it this way. Excuse me, guys. It'll just make it a bit easier. Um, 
obviously we're going to have to peel back past this one and then get to there okay get that nice and flat we're going to try and it is a really bad crease there i maybe just need to um oh heck it's really thin film Oh heck, hang on. Oh no. Honestly, if you get the wrong side on your canvas, you're scuppered, it's so sticky. So make sure you get the sides down on. I mean, that one's really flat, this first one. And I think I'm gonna just trim these in half, down each individual one. And then I think that'll help to release that one because it's just struggling to lay flat just now. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I'll do that later. Um, let's have a look at what we get included so we have got two um basic kits we've got um again the same as before just the wax trays and the stylus just a single place of stylus on those did i tell you the price it's 15 43 dollars 15 dollars 43 which isn't bad and i'm guessing that all the drills are just in together for this um so we've got the the kit number here which is lg276 um and yeah it just says here lg276 there's my dog whining at me ruby no she's been i've just had her out on a massive walk it's a bugger. oh i think we've had an explosion <gasps> Oh, is it just some rogue ones? I've got quite a few loose drills here, so I hope I haven't got some split bags. Let's have a look. I think maybe it's just some spare ones. Yeah, I think I'm safe, but you can, you can, you can give it a little shake. Yeah, I think we just got a few spares in there. I'm not sure what's happened there. So these are just all numbered you've got your kit number then bag number one number two number three which obviously corresponds to the numbers on the legend um i have ordered some printer paper some printer sticker sheet paper which i'm gonna then start i watched um is it Jern diamond painting and she um will scan these legends on her scanner and then print them out onto sticker paper and then stick them and then create stickers then for when you're kitting up and i thought it was such a good idea so i've ordered some sticker paper and i'm dying to try that but yeah i'll just run through the drills really quickly let's have a look what these look like um so the round i don't know if, i don't think those ones are faceted i have had a couple of kits really where look they're not i don't think they've got facets on and they're just like little almost like little like flat back pearls you know um they don't all have like the little um like all the cuts to make them super sparkly so we'll see what that's like that's a bit disappointing they look pretty smooth colors are lovely but they are just they look like smooth drills do they hmm well, that's a nice shade um, so there's going to be, I think, lots of blues and greens in here. They are nice. But yeah, I don't think they have got the um, like the diamond cutting on them. I really like that colour, which is a weird colour to like. Oh my goodness, all of these. Well, oh, let's see what else we have. Really pretty sort of like lavender. Lovely blues, very pale mint. I'm looking forward to doing this. Um, it'd be nice to try and get a set. I just hope that the, you can see what it's like. You know, the rendering looks not bad, but you can never truly tell until you start doing them. Oh my word, these must be the background. <gasps> it is. What are these? Number 33 is eight, yeah. So the background, it isn't white, it's like this lovely cream. Actually, it's a nice shade, but this is what most of the backgrounds are like. And we've got five bags. I'm going to be so fed up doing these. I might do these as um, like individually, like do one of these in between other projects and then come back and do another one and then come back at another time and do another one until I've like finished them all. But yes, yeah, that is everything. Um, so I just want to say thank you 
to one day saving for sending me these let me know what you think have you ordered from them yourself um i mean to be fair the print quality looks really good and um it doesn't look too bad i mean you can see it's been cut a bit you know but that doesn't matter she's going to be trimming them down anyway so yeah that is everything my lovelies thank you so much for watching don't forget i have that five percent discount code if you want to use that if you feel like having an order and then um, the website link is down below as well if you want to go and have a little nosy around their site so take care guys enjoy your dining painting have a lovely crafty day and i'll see you all again later bye